Okay, this is K4SWL Thomas here um, at Lake Norman State Park. And I thought I'd kind of show how I do my workflow when I'm doing a Parks in the Air activation. Um, today I'm using the ICOM IC705, uh, which I have hooked up to a ZM2 uh, tuner right now, uh, just to get a little bit better match here on 20 meters with my antenna. And uh, I haven't done any sort of uh, activation of the 20 meter band yet. I just moved to 20 meters and um, found a clear frequency. And so I thought I'd start calling here in just a second. But one of the things that I like to do when I have internet, which is actually really, really rare, but I do today, I have internet at this site. I go onto the uh, Parks on the Air site and um, spot myself um, on their network so people know where I am. And so let's see, I'm on 14.322, click spot. Now people know where I am and it'll show up on the spot network at the very uh, uh, top there. And now I need to call CQ. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. I'm just using the supplied microphone with the IC705. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Now when I do park activations, especially in phone or uh, single sideband, I like to use voice memory keyers. And this is where the ICOM 705 just has a lot of power because it has eight total memories that you can set for voice memory keys. Now I've got programmed into T1, I press that, and it's actually doing my CQ call. You can't hear it because I have the monitor turned down, but it's calling CQ for me just by pressing T1. For park activations, I don't ever use really the other ones uh, in voice because uh, it's so easy to come back to somebody. Um, with voice in CW, I do use them quite a lot, actually, uh, for um, uh, just kind of workflow purposes. <laughs> when I'm logging and stuff, it's nice to have pre-programmed ways you can tell people their signal reports and that sort of thing and send seven threes. In voice, I do it a lot less often. But uh, sometimes it takes a while for people to find you. In fact, today on 20 meters, I'm not expecting to make a lot of contacts. I had a hard time making many contacts in CW earlier, so I don't know that I'll make very many here today. Um, now one thing I can do is press and hold T1, and you'll notice down here it shows a little replay or repeat icon next to T1. It'll continue calling CQ for me now over and over and over again until someone calls back. And when they do call back in the break, I press the um, mic key, the PTT key, and uh, it, it'll automatically stop the recording. And this is just so nice. I mean, when you're doing a park activation, you end up calling CQ a whole bunch. And it's nice to be able to free up your hands and even do things like, uh, you know, eat your lunch or dinner or whatever, make a cup of coffee, uh, whatever it is you want to do in the field. Um, you can do that when you've got a voice memory key or working on your behalf here. Um, I also tend to use uh, paper logs when I'm making CW activations, mainly because it's a little easier for me to write down the call sign, then transfer it over to my logs on the uh, tablet. And I like using my tablet when I can. I don't always do it. If I'm hiking in somewhere and I want to keep everything very lightweight, I don't bother doing it. I just uh, uh, take a notepad with me and then transfer it a little bit later to send in the logs to the POTA group. Um, but in this case, it's really nice. I use N3FJP. Um, I make a new log each time I do a field activation, and uh, it makes it very easy to just simply export the ADA file and send it to the people who are responsible for the logs in Parks on the Air. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you a really quick uh, tour here of just the voice memory keying features of the 705. Um, this isn't unique to the 705. In fact, a lot of Yezu radios, a lot of uh, Kenwood and um, uh, Ellicraft radios especially have uh, key, you know, memory keying in CW and voice. But it is very unique in a QRP radio to have a total of eight that you can set. 
And when you would use those eight would be in things like contests. Um, if you're using contest uh, software and you really want to automate everything, then you can use these keyers and uh, come back with signal reports and that sort of thing and hardly ever have to talk, uh, to be honest. But, um, you yeah, know, for Parks on the Air, really it's calling CQ that takes all of the, uh, my time and uh, I like to eliminate that. Anyway, I'll hop off here, I'll call CQ just a couple more minutes, and I need to pack it up. I've got about 30 contacts in today, uh, so I think I've worked about everybody that's <laughs> out there to work right now with 10 watts.